Folks, we just spent a weekend fishing with some true fishing legends. <laughs> <laughs> the Fisher Brothers. <laughs> We're gonna uh, put the footage up on Mr. Shaky Head's channel. I'll link it, I'll link it below. And I might, might put a few little things on it, but uh, y'all y'all here for beekeeping, so. Yeah. We'll put the fishing on the fishing channel. <laughs> That's right, That's we'll right. put it on mine. <laughs> and we try to get some beekeeping, because I was gonna go by his house and stand his log up straight. He's got the leaning tower of Beza in his yard. <laughs> you could stick a phone book under the edge something, of it or something. Something. Get them bees straight, but I didn't have time, so. Welcome back to 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Y'all know what time it is. Time to get started on a hive removal. We got a hive in between ceiling of the first floor and floor of the second up underneath the the daughter's bedroom they hit them with a little bit of soapy water about a week ago when they first started coming in or when they first noticed them so no poisons to deal with seeing a hot spot right here and these eye joists should be the only framing for the upstairs aside from, from some cross bracing that, sh that probably don't block a space totally so i'm on Stick a couple of starter holes and we'll cut a uh, section out of that eye joist. Showing heat right in this area. So I'm just gonna punch some corner starter holes. The floor is insulated, but all that insulation is gonna be laying in the bottom here. So that in that space up top. And uh, I let my daughter and my son-in-law borrow my jigsaw and this jewel has been on the shelf for probably seven or eight years it's never been used <laughs> been, my other one is a box just like it with a different uh, attachment it's got the unscrew head up here I've been saving this and waiting for the other one to break down and it's just never broke down and I hate to scratch it. I don't want to get it dirty. It's it's going against everything within me to even use it right now. But if I want my other one, I have to drive 20 miles out of the way to get it. So I had my wife bring me this one because I'm not far from home. But man, I don't want to use it. Do the dust on the box. Oh well, here we go. I gotta figure out how to use it because my other one's got a different, different attachment thing on. Here you go. Quick release. The blades had a protective lubricant on them and I done got grease on the handle. Golly, I hate that. Some mad ones already. <laughs> it's getting dark and I ain't trying to scatter them. So what I'm gonna do is slide this right up in here just to put them bees back with the rest of them. You ready? You ready? Huh? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Damn! A whole honeycomb. Ooh. Boy, that's a lot. Yes. Yes, indeed. And who's the same one back behind that one? That should be the only one, huh? <laughs> Damn. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, did I ever do a video mentioning how you should only do high removals at night? Well, that's not entirely true. <laughs> in fact, in fact, that's not true at all. You should do them in the daytime. But I gotta do them when I can get to them, so nighttime it is. But before I get started, I gotta call Jeff Horchoff and read him a bedtime story. Cause he's, he's crawling in a sack right now, I guarantee you. Y'all um, rent or own? Oh. Y'all got a termite contract with anybody? Yeah, with uh, fishers. Okay. One of these mugs, term termites are swarming too. Mm -hmm. I don't mean they're on your house, they're just attracted to the light, but I just want to make sure you had a termite contract. Yeah, them termites are bad news. Oh, yeah. Bees are walking the park. <laughs> compared, compared to termites, you want to come out and take them? I mean, you want to come up and put your hand on them? Oh, no, what kind? Just close your eyes. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, they got, a, they got a nice brick in there. You might as well close your eyes. You can't see what you're doing when you reach up in there anyway. Like, it's like I'm... I'm not scared, but I have to give you Jamie's to turn my... I've been in there a good month and a half. At, and a half. Yeah. at least. So what if someone just never calls? Like, some, like the seasons go by, they'll just get huge, right? Yep. Or will they ever just stop? They'll build, 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 build. And they'll get, it could, it could get 10 foot long. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that show that used to come on, like some guy else got infected and they had bees everywhere. I remember Yeah, I pull, I pull them out once in a while like that. They'd, I'd have to pull this whole ceiling down, cut that board all the way down. And, yeah. 
<laughs> Just not on your house, huh? I could get a different angle for you, but I got this insulation stuff right here just to get it out of my way. Just about done cutting the hive out. I'm gonna cut everything out and slide this little box. I got one of the cardboard nukes. I'm gonna slide it up in there with all the brood in it and come back and get it tomorrow night. They should all be moved to the box by then. I hadn't seen the queen yet, but I'm, I'm still not done. I gotta scrape all the honey out. And uh, I'm gonna move some bees out as well. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. While Mr. Ed sleeps, the dirt rooster's out making the world a safer place. Got most of it framed up. So got a little bit left to frame up. I wound up with three full frames of brood comb. Not much drone brood at all. It's all worker brood. So uh, I was able to frame most of it. Got a little bit of honey left up in there to scrape out. I'm using a cardboard nuke. I'm gonna slide it up in that space right there and let it ride the night out. And I'm gonna give them time to come back and settle in the box tomorrow evening. I'll come back and get it and put this soffit back up. Close that hole in the frame up. All this, this edge all the way down is going to, have to be sealed up. And uh, the homeowner's gonna do that. So they got them a nice Saturday afternoon project. It's 10 p.m. Started at sunset. I got uh, three and a half, three full frames of brood and another half a frame of worker brood. Got just a little, little bit of drone comb with some honey in it. I just had this laying up here. They were all over taking honey. But uh, I didn't do any vacuuming. And the uh, the hive's been cut out completely. I've just been reaching up in the hole with this lid and just scooping them off in bunches of a thousand or five hundred or so, whatever I can get, and bringing them, dumping them in the box. They're settling in on the box pretty good. I'm about to put the lid on it and leave it for tomorrow. And I bet you. I'm not gonna bet a whole lot, <laughs> but but I bet you they go to the box. It's kind of wet with honey right now. It's gonna take them a little bit to clean it up, but once they get this box all cleaned up and dry, they'll be as happy as a pig in the sunshine. box up there for about five minutes and they're starting to migrate piling up on this side of the hole they were back up in there a little bit further they're starting to migrate out this way a little bit at a time looking promising and I'm done head home it's been a fun evening I wanted to take a second and show you guys one of my uh, uh, urban free-range colonies don't get too mad. What are you doing? Just taking a quick sneak peek. Just getting a look inside there. Seeing how you guys are doing.
step back out of their way. I'm just kidding. Someone's coming to remove them. <laughs> Getting out of the way so I don't step on it. That one you had on while they're running. Yeah. That's a black tip shark. <laughs> <laughs>